Starting in December of 2023, reports of a record-breaking crocodile killed in Tanzania began to spread. When I first read about this, many articles were saying this croc was, quote, the world's biggest crocodile, meaning that it had to be well over 20 feet in length, as this crocodile has long been the official record holder. After looking at the photos these websites were posting, it was definitely a huge Nile crocodile, but how big exactly? I saw more videos of this beast on YouTube from a channel of Bomar Bowhunting, which I wasn't too familiar with at the time. The two YouTube shorts I saw showing the crocodile were these two, and in the video, the dead crocodile is dragged around displayed with the hunter. The only information about this crocodile's size is in one video it was stated it was 2,000 pounds, which if true is a massive animal. However, Bomar did say that this was, quote, a pending world record crocodile. As I did more investigating about this crocodile, reports were starting to spread that this crocodile had been illegally killed by the hunter in the video. This then started a huge backlash, with many saying this guy killed the world's biggest crocodile and it wasn't even a legal hunt. However, I am here to tell you the truth behind this situation. Let's start with the basic fact of how big this crocodile is and if it's a record breaker. Once I found Bomar's Instagram account, I was able to find the true length of this beast. In a post from December 21st, 2023, Josh Bomar stated, quote, This monstrous crocodile measured in an astounding 16 feet 3 inches, making him the largest crocodile in history to ever be harvested with a bow and arrow. With a length of about 16 feet, this is definitely not the world's largest crocodile, and the articles were exaggerating. Bomar also never claimed this to be the largest crocodile ever killed, just the largest with a bow and arrow. In perspective though, just how big is a 16 foot Nile crocodile? I've seen some comments saying that a 16 foot Nile is not really big, and that plenty of bigger animals exist. This is not true for modern populations. A typical full-grown male now crocodile only gets up to around 14 to 15 feet long. Therefore, a 16-footer is a true monster for this species. Also, in terms of confirmed records, the largest now crocodiles have been around 18 feet. Of course, there are historical reports and stories of 20-foot-plus animals, such as Gustav, but these aren't confirmed. Either way, a 16-foot Nile is a big croc, but is it the biggest killed by a bow? The previous record was killed by Sarah Bomar at 15 feet 6 inches in 2021. It should be noted too that Sarah killed a 14 footer in 2023 that she said was quote, way bigger body than my last one. Still, the 16 footer Josh Bomar killed is obviously the bigger of the three. One thing that should be noted though is that there seems to be no actual record system for killing crocodiles with a bow. Bow hunting is not common when hunting crocodiles, so there is little information to use when comparing one report to another. Safari Club International, who keeps track of record animals, even told Outdoor Life on January 3rd, 2024 that they have, quote, no record of either Josh or Sarah setting a crocodile record. I am not saying that these crocs they killed weren't necessarily record breakers in this category, but there is little information as of now to properly give them the title of largest crocodiles killed by a bow, unless they want to be the first ones officially documented to do this. Either way, as Josh Bomar stated, the record is pending. Now comes the big one. Was the crocodile killed illegally? Although many hit pieces were made about this croc's death, the hunt seems to be legal. The Tanzania Wildlife Authority verified that the crocodile hunt was done properly and even gave a permit number. Even with the hunt of this crocodile proven to be done legally, that hasn't stopped many from demonizing the couple for killing these large crocodiles. I'm not going to discuss my opinions of bow hunting crocodiles or this couple's hunting channel, but I will say that while I'm not in love with the idea of killing crocodilians for sport, there's nothing inherently wrong with hunting as long as it's done legally and it's regulated, assuming the population of the animal is stable of course. It is when the animals are killed illegally and with no regulation that we will see problems with population numbers and the health of the population declining. Unregulated hunting, in my opinion, is why I believe we no longer see American alligators bigger than 15 feet anymore. Before they were hunted in mass, reports of American alligators around 18 feet were much more common in the 17 and 1800s, but this is no longer the case. The Bomars plan on releasing the video of the hunt in the near future, which will add more detail to the situation, but as of now everything I've stated is what we know.
To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy the book A Guide to Identifying Crocodilians of the World. From the humongous Sawar crocodile to the strange Indian gharial, discover the defining characteristics of every crocodilian. Written by Jen and John Bruggen of the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, the book teaches you how to identify every species of crocodilian in a simple manner so anyone can learn. It even includes the recently discovered species. Buy A Guide to Identifying Crocodilians of the World today. Link in description and comments to buy.